Welcome to Time of Death. This video is for informational purposes and in no way meant to glorify or condone violence. In today's video, we'll be discussing the murder of Patrick Odoikian. Odoikian was shot and killed December 30th, 2013 in the 4200 block of Via Marina Court in Marina del Rey, according to LA County Coroner Records. Byron Keith Street was subsequently arrested and charged with the murder. The following is the evidence at trial. The events of this case transpired at an apartment complex in Marina del Rey, consisting of about 500 units in five buildings with several underground parking garages. The main entrance is accessed through a patio area fronted by a low wall planter. To the rear of the patio area is an outdoor courtyard. A private company provided security for the apartment complex using unarmed guards. Defendant Street and victim Odoikian were guards with the company, and Odoikian additionally served as a supervisor at the complex. While on duty during the overnight shift on December 28th to 29th, Street and Odoikian were in a verbal confrontation in which Odoikian yelled loudly at Street and challenged him to a fight. Bird and Nave, the owner of the security company, separated the two men. Nave testified that during the overnight shift on December 28th to 29th, Odoikian called him and said Street had brought his girlfriend to the complex. When Nave arrived shortly after midnight, he went to the location where Street was on duty and found Street's girlfriend there, dressed in a security guard uniform. Nave requested that she leave the premises, which she did. As Nave and Street spoke, Odoikian and security guard Henry Castillo joined them. Odoikian complained about Street and then argued with him and challenged him to go outside to fight. Odoikian physically tried to get to Street prompting Nave to get between them and separate them. He testified that on the day of the shooting, he told detectives he heard Street say, I don't fight, I shoot. Nave then sent Odoikian upstairs and Castillo left. The following night, Odoikian and security guard Kofi Bawa were working the overnight shift at the complex, but Street was not. At about 2 a.m., Bawa saw Street in the patio area where he appeared to be taking the security company's time records. Two binders with sign-in sheets, timesheets, and activity reports for the guards working at the location from the low wall, the planter, and the patio. Bawa and Odoikian ran to Street's location, and Odoikian approached and stood a few feet in front of Street. He asked Street what he was doing there. Without responding, Street took out a gun and fatally shot Odoikian three times. L.A. County Sheriff deputies and detectives responded to the scene. They found Odoikian's body lying in the parking space near the building's entrance. The deputy medical examiner who performed an autopsy on Odoikian testified that he had been shot three times, with all three bullets entering his body at the left back, all traveling left to right, back to front, and upwards through the body, hitting the heart, key blood vessels, and other structures within the chest. All three were fatal, and he recovered a bullet from each wound. The investigating detective, Francis Hardiman, conducted an operation in which he placed Street in a jail cell with undercover deputies and recorded their conversation. Hardiman testified to the content of that conversation, and excerpts of the recording were played at trial. Street told the deputies that his girlfriend drove him to the apartment complex on the night of the shooting. He said she knew what he was going to do at the complex. She knows the business. When one deputy asked him, what made you tell her though? that you was about to go and check this expletive off. He responded, dumbass. Following the trial, the jury found Street guilty on all counts and found true all the special allegations. The court sentenced Street to 25 years to life for the first degree murder, 25 years to life for the gun enhancement, and a sentence of life without the possibility of parole for the special circumstance of murder committed while Street was engaged in the commission of a burglary. Patrick Odoikian was 47 years old at the time of death. 